These are the Lisburn Hills in Alaska, and these hills are on the very northwestern end of Alaska in a region which is known as Cape Lisburn. And as you will see on this map, these hills abruptly get cut off right when they reach the shore. It looks like they should continue past it and form a mountain range, but no, they just stop. And so in today's video, we are going to look at how the Lisburn Hills formed and why they look cut off like that. So the Lisburn Hills are found at the very western edge of the Brooks Mountains, and those are these mountains that you can see here. And these mountains were formed during the Brookian Orogeny, which if you didn't know, an orogeny is a mountain building event. So the Brooks Mountains formed when the Arctic Alaska Microplate, this highlighted blue plate here, collided with the North American plate below it. And this frame we are seeing here was around 150 million years ago. And here I am on a tectonic timeline viewer, and as you can see, 150 million years ago, it was around where we saw in the previous map, but by 120 million years ago, it had moved so that now it was about to collide with the North American plate, and also this sea was getting shallower. That is an important fact we have to keep in mind. And so let's now jump to 105 million years ago, and as you can see, it had started colliding with the North American plate. And during this Brookian orogeny, the Arctic Alaska plate accreted, essentially became one big land mass with the North American plate, which is why today we have this land in the north here, and these Brooks Mountains are no longer forming. But as I mentioned previously, this inland sea is important to our story. So why is that? Well, this is a map showing the Lisburn group in blue. This Lisburn group is comprised of limestones and sandstones from the ocean floor. This means that during the Brookian orogeny, the Arctic Alaska plate created a thrust fault on this ocean floor. And a thrust fault is when older rocks are pushed on top of newer rocks because of faulting. And so today, this has left the Lisburn hills as being comprised mostly of sandstones and slates. But that still doesn't explain why the mountains look cut off the way they do here. So how did these mountains get cut off? Well, this is also due to faulting. So here's a map showing fold and thrust belt lines throughout this region. And as you can see, we have an inactive fold and thrust belt going straight through the middle of these Lisburn Hills. And this is known as the Herald Arch. And so what this Herald Arch has done is make it so the thrust folds, which were already at the very western edge of this Brookian orogeny, move towards the Herald Arch. So this means that these hills are northward verging. Essentially, the hills smoothly slope up towards the Herald Arch. However, since the Herald Arch is going through the center of these Lisburn Hills, the mountains to the north are southward verging hills. And so this has created the 90 degree angle that we have seen here. Basically, so basically these thrust faults, which were already at the very western edge of the orogeny, were just pulled towards the fault line. And this has made them form the straight coast that we have seen here. So to recap, the Lisburn Hills are part of the Brookian orogeny where the Arctic Alaska microplate collided with the North American plate. And after this, the Herald Fold and Thrust Belt essentially pulled the mountains towards it and created the abrupt end that we see today. But that is going to be all for today's video. If I taught you something new, please subscribe, and if you have another video idea, please comment them below. I will see you guys in the next one.